Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. That's what we've all been waiting on. This is my design patent. I'm very, very proud of this. Very, very proud. Made this with my own hands. This is a satellite dish football helmet. Please, tell me what you think. Tell me if you like it. Let me know. I love it. As you can see, I'm a diehard Cowboys fan. I'm from Columbus, Ohio. So I'm partial to the Browns and the Bengals as well. Actually, I like all the teams. I love football, period. All college teams. Go Bucks! I was born at Ohio State University. It's my patent design. And I am trying to get this thing some exposure on account of it costs a lot of money for companies to step in and help me with this. So I'm helping that, hoping that all the people who are diehard fans of football will see this. And let me know whether or not you guys think this thing is is as awesome as I do. I love it. Every time I look at this thing, I'm, it takes me back to the days of Tony Dorsett. Calvin Hill, Emmett Smith, the whole Cowboy Nation. Everybody wants to be a cowboy, is what they say. I am very proud of this. I'm stoked, totally stoked. 14 years, they say, I have to. Do something with this. I wish I could show you guys the the prototype that I have sitting here on my kitchen table, but I am afraid that if I do, I will somehow get in trouble. So I will show you guys what I can show you in hopes that you guys will. Log on to YouTube, get my email address so I can keep some kind of record of how many people is looking at this thing. I'm not, I'm not a very tech savvy guy. I'm actually making this with my little uh, Kodak Easy Share 7885 camera. I don't own any high tech equipment per se. I mean, I have a computer, but. I don't have a sophisticated camera. This is the best that I can do. Got to get this thing out there. In these economic times that we're in, something like this is going to create jobs, hopefully. Just trying to do my part. I love the United States of America. Love it. Let me show you guys the other pictures that are in here. This figure one perspective. And here is figure two. Same as what's on the front. And these are just other profiles. This is the type of thing that we need here in America, right here, right now. Ingenuity, creativity. Let's take care of us. Us take care of us. 
think we should rely on politicians to bail us out. Let's put some brains on it. Let's put some brains on it. Let's make it happen. Football fans, stand up. Let me know what y'all think. Love you guys, man. Football is like, I, I love all sports, period. But I really love football. Here, I'm getting kind of sloppy with this. I apologize. This is the top view. There's no need to really even look at the other ones. That's basically it. This took me three weeks to put together. First, the prototype. And it took about six months to get it submitted, my application submitted, and to get this thing back. I got it on December the 2nd. I mean, I've never done anything this big. I mean, I've owned some small businesses. I've done things to help people. You know, this is my favorite part this seal. I remember asking the attorney if it was going to have a seal on it. And man, it's got the seal on it. That is... That's what's up. That's what's up. This is just a dream of mine that, you know, I may come true. I wish somebody like Oprah would see this and do a show, a special show on Inventors <laughs> so I can bring it on. I mean, I'm ready to get my American dream on. I'm ready to get my American dream on. Yeah, that's a nice phrase. Get your American dream on. Tired of waiting in line. Ain't nobody going to do it for us but us. You know, we're sticking together. I've been all up and down the eastern seaboard. And I've shown this to a select few of my customers. I actually install those dishes for a company. Can't say which one. Like I said, I don't want to get in trouble. But... The response has been better than I expected. Honestly, better than I've expected. I mean, even from from women who don't even really keep track of sports that much, they really recognize what it is that they're looking at. And that surprised me. That really surprised me. My uh, professor, I'm new college student and my professor looked at it and she just gushed all over me for a good three minutes that's eh, more or less like like about five and you know I never had that happen before I mean I've been a hard worker all my life honest man married with children happily married with children I have three little girls and a big 17-year-old son who plays football. And we love, football is a way of life in my family. My little girls were told, was told at an early age, well they know now, but they was told at an early age that Brett Favre was their uncle. And that was just a little joke, inside joke, because I, I really like Brett Favre. And um, I was really, 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 really impressed with him and the way he played that, on that Monday night after his father passed away. Big ups to Brett. Big ups. I mean, I'm not a crybaby, but that brought tears to my eyes. That was, that was incredible. That was one of the best feelings in football that I've ever had. You get a better look at it. That light is kind of shining. Wow. If this thing takes off. I am going to be very, very, very happy. Because then I will have the resources to start other projects up. So my main goal is to help people. Help people get their American dream on.